<laughs> glamping some of that infamous British Columbia liquid sunshine. Look at this wee baron. Chunk off the old bull hunk. Playing in the drip. Maintaining his trucks. Taco, we got the taco! Night, just in time! Baby doll, how's your vacation so far? Chicken, we, uh, I need your help. The wood is really soaked. You come here with that little thing. Sure. Now that's far. The windows, look at the windows. Oh, ooh, look at that sticker. Gray Creek in open rebellion. Old Justine Trudeau ain't gonna like it. Papa, what's that over there? I don't know. Let's go see. Maybe it's that bad stuff. Creepy. I know. Nothing scarier than piled up Adirondack chairs. And a mower. Uh, it was been in the family for three generations, oh, okay. so. The oh. friendly village. Yes. <laughs> His wife used to sell that set. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> Load the ferry over East Kootenai. Uh, East Kootenai, they got some weirdos over there. Hippies and draft dodgers and so forth. If you don't want to be found, you go to the East Kootenais. And there's a fella, former embalmer. I had a buddy who had, uh, worked when he was younger as an apprentice embalmer, uh, mortician. Don't call it that. Funeral director. So it didn't really bother him. The only thing that still got to him were the double-sided tacks. They stick under your eyelids so they don't pop open mid-ceremony. <laughs> anyway, this embalmer, he uh, decided to retire, but uh, wanted to pursue a, a particular whim. They had these embalming fluid bottles, square bottomed, and uh, he went around all his buddies all through Canada. It took him 10 years to accommodate the things. 500,000 of them decides to build his uh, beautiful bride a palace out of embalming fluid bottles. Now the health food types gloss this over. You won't find this in any guidebook, but this is where Scooby uh, Kombucha was was invented quite clearly in these glass bottles here. Disgusting. Scooby, of course, being symbiotic bacterium and yeast. I figure we should stop, baby doll. Yours is getting a little tattered. Overuse. Yeah. The car thieves are bad here in British Columbia. Bring cash. What do the sticks do? <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. That newfangled new age stuff here in the Kootenays. It ain't for me. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. Apparently people are worried about porcupines chewing their brake lines. <laughs> Chickadee, how many porcupines do you think are gonna come and eat all these during the day with all these people around? A few. A few? I say none. Why is that, you think? Because people are monsters. Chicken, come here, have a look at this. Look at this beautiful granite. You can tell it cooled deep in the earth real, real slow. It's got feldspar twin crystals here. The square ones, look at that. And the black is biotite. And then also, what else do you think is in here? What's white and crystally? Quartz. Nice. We'll make a rock liquor out of you yet. Look at that, sparkling in the sun. Huh? You see the twin right here? Look at this guy. Perfect cleavage. Uh, first gander, this looks nothing like mining territory. Just barren rock looking stuff. You don't see any visible shit stains, no og cropping, go sands, nothing like that. But you have a look, see? Up here, sorry, I had to kill a mosquito. Pardon me, scumito. You see over here, Right out the front of the attic, they just uh, had mining dumps, so that would be just burden. 
overburden, waste, rock, dumped out the side of the mountain. See that, those, that brown shit there. And don't forget, this would have been, for probably 10 months of the year, this would have been covered in snow. So whoever found this was made of sterner stuff than you or I. Do you like some vitamin C? Sure, pick me some. Vitamin C tastes way better when you earn them. Oh, the wood's a little wet, but it was free. Giving her the old pre-burn. Hostess with the mostest. Charcoots, <laughs> bubbly, and jiffy poop. And an axe. And an axe, well that's the thing. On Etudie Barbal, you gotta be able to open your beer without your teeth. <laughs> How's the bear pooperoni? Delicious. Pepperonium. Bear, bear power. Yeah, uh oh. Fed bear is a dead bear. They left a bag of garbage in the tree there. Oh, he got it. And away he goes. Just a little guy. 106, for shame. Sure. What is that, chicken? Fungus among it. It sure is, it lives in the soil. I don't know what yeah. kind it is. Touch it, touch it. Oh, that might not be fungus at all. That might be some sort of lily or something. Maybe, good thing I touched it. Yeah, weird. So, chickadee, what do you figure happened to that bear? I figured he ran away. Or he ha got holes in him. You figure he got holes in him. Why is that? Because people are monsters. <laughs> 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 well, the thing is, people are monsters, and that's why bears run away from us. We're the meanest thing going. So if they don't run away from us, then we got to worry about brother bear getting eaten. we got to worry about you getting eaten. And that, uh, he sure was a handsome little Bruin with nice shiny hair looked like he had lots of bacon fat in his life so if he's not scared of people we got to um eat him yeah well we'd like to eat him make him bear pepperoni but unfortunately it's a total waste they uh take the rifle and and shoot him it's huh? sad why well so I... what if we shoot him and then we eat him well that would be the right thing to do but sometimes you're not allowed to do the right thing let that be a lesson to you. Eating garbage gets you rapid onset lead poisoning. As witnessed by poor buddy's terror sweats here. Just a panting away, shivering in the corner. He does not like supersonic reports. Especially two of them right in a row. Ah, could be worse. Uhura! Terry Fox with a peg leg. Oh, here Terry Fox with a peg leg. Oh no. Check light on the fridge, on. Aye aye, Captain. We are out of propania. She's a rough old life, but we gotta take what comfort we can.